everyone, welcome back to Leather and More. I am LaShonda and today we are restocking Japanese cherry blossom. Alright, so I have all of my oils in my bowl. I have uh, olive oil, castor oil, coconut oil, um, let's see, olive oil, coconut oil, castor oil, shea butter, cocoa butter, um, oh, that it? Anyway, I have that, and then of course I have my lye water here, and I have added uh, sugar and dissolved it, and also sodium lactate for a harder bar. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and add my kale and clay and my bamboo extract to my oils here, and I am going to stick blend it on low. good and mixed. I'm going to go ahead and now add my lye water to my salute, uh, my oils. Okay. And go ahead and stick blend this on low as well. going to go ahead and add my Greek yogurt to my mixture here. I usually add um, organic coconut milk to the mixture, but I am out of coconut milk, so when I am out, the next best thing is Greek yogurt. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and separate out my batch. Today we will be working with four colors here. I have two different pinks here. Um, both are from Matt Oils. Um, one is Bazooka Joe, which is this one here. And this other one, I believe it's uh, Flash Nance. And then I have my white titanium dot. So these will be my accent colors for my soap. So let's go ahead and split the black the batch out. This fragrance oil is Japanese fragrance oil by Wholesale Supplies Plus. It is awesome. It maintains strong scent throughout the cure and after the cure, which is very important when you are doing cold process soaps. So I have split off my batches. I'm going to go ahead and add my colorants here. And the first one we're going to add is the um, Bazooka Joe. Okay. Next we're going to go ahead and add Flash Dance to this one. And then here the titanium dioxide will be added to this. And we're going to go ahead and use our spatula to mix it in. See where we at color wise. I am liking these colors. Very good. Uh, the fragrance oil that I am using does not accelerate trace so it's going to give me a lot of time to play with it and um, work with it. Alright, so since I don't have an actual gray colorant what I am going to do is I am going to add titanium dioxide to this um, base here and then I am going to add um, some activated charcoal to it. I'm going to work that in. So, go ahead and mix this in. I am going to go ahead and give this a quick stick blend just to mix my colors in.
are ready to go and get our pour on right now. All right, let's get some of this out the way. Whew. My area is so messy, you guys. We'll be pouring first the gray on this soap. Gray first, followed by flash dance and then white and then bazooka joe. Bum, 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 bum. 
I want to pick some of that gray up in this. It almost looks like a marble effect, I want to say. I don't want to over swirl, you guys. <laughs> you are not going to get my attention, Jacqueline. No. Because <laughs> I know you do it, so it was silly. <laughs> Absolutely not. No. Alright, I am done. I'm going to go ahead and spritz this with some 91 proof alcohol. Clean up these good sides. And show you guys with a close up of what the soap looks like. And then tomorrow, you guys get to see what the cut looks like. Japanese cherry blossom soap look like. Let's see here. Mm. Let's see. Alright. Alright. There you go. My battery is about to die, you guys. So, I will bring you guys back for the cut. Thank you for watching. Please, if you haven't, subscribe to my channel and like this video. If you want to see more, please leave a comment below and I will check you guys later. Welcome back, you guys, to cutting of the Japanese cherry blossom soap. I am LaShonda, your artesian soaper from Laga and More. And this has been in the mold for 24 hours. I always keep my soaps in the mold for 24 hours uh, and then I unmold. I do insulate my soap unless I'm using my 7.5 ounce molds. So without further ado, let's go ahead and cut this puppy. Alright. I want to make sure I have one wire in my cutter that um, does not tighten so I usually have to um, kind of push it down but that's the end piece I'll take one from the middle ooh I like it ooh, do you guys see let me see. Let me back this puppy up so you can see it. Ooh, that's pretty. I likey, likey. Lots of swirls. That was used uh, with a regular hanger. Regular hanger swirl. No fancy tool, just your average wire hanger to achieve that swirl. Mm. And Japanese cherry blossom fragrance oil is super duper strong so it does hold up in the curing time and it remains just as strong after it is fully cured so if you have not soaked with the Japanese fragrance <laughs> if you have not soaked with the wholesale supplies plus Japanese cherry blossom fragrance oil I highly suggest you guys pick it up and make your creations using that fragrance oil. To my, um, to me, I think that their fragrance oil smells way better than Bath and Body Works 
Japanese cherry blossom because I have smelled their Japanese cherry blossom and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. But this one is a beautiful fragrance. It smells a little like it, but way, 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 way better, in my opinion. All right, look at that. Ooh, cannot wait to take the pictures so you guys can really see what I'm seeing. And that's the end piece. And this is the other end piece. Alright you guys, thank you for watching my channel. If you have not subscribed, please do. If you like the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys later for the next video. Until then, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook at leathermore.com and I will check you guys later. Until then, bye!